guys, welcome back. I just got back from the doctor. I went to the doctor with Lexi. Were they in there? I just went to the doctor with Lexi. So it was her two week follow up from preeclampsia. She's lost 38 pounds. She's doing good. She's off her blood pressure medicine. Just taking it as needed, whatever. But I stopped at TJ Maxx. So I was going to give y'all a quick little haul and show you what I got. I got Allison some sheets. She needed some new sheets. She's got flannel on her bed right now, so I'm gonna take those off. So open those and we'll get those washed. Also got her a little teeth whitening thing. She's been wanting one of those. So I got this, it's 22 treatments and it was $9.99. Those sheets were not $10.99. I got her a little organizer for her vanity. Okay. So I got her this, it's rose gold with little gold legs on it, but that was $6.99, so I thought that was pretty cheap for that. Of course I had to get likely something, so I got her these little swaddles, and I'm just gonna keep these here, but they are so soft. And I just feel like these are light, and they don't really burn them up, so it's like perfect for spring. So I got her that. I got, I've been wanting a nightgown, so oh, I say why. I wanted a nightgown. <laughs> so, I found one and it is super soft, and it says, grateful, it was $9.99, and it is Raydon. Not that I like Raydon, but anyway, it was just cute, cheap, looks comfortable, just not time to wear a top. And... I got these earrings. So I bought some earrings a few months ago and the cats tore them up and jerked them off. So I got these little, they're just hoops, but they're just gold, plain little earrings. I got this candle that, and um, the glass, the candle holder is really pretty. Uh, I thought, does it smell good? yes, it does. No. And then I found that. They didn't have a Mimi one. So, had I got a Gigi. Did you show it? No. You know where the letter is? Yes, Okay, so I got those in. I haven't worn earrings in a little bit, so. Took a little bit. My hair back, or it's gonna get tangled in these earrings. Okay, and that's it. That's all I got. Okay, I'm gonna get your sheets in the wash. Can you place them up? Me and your dad's going to go another stand. You want to go or stay? Looks like they're right there. Mama, look. This is the lock port. Mm -hmm. So you should know how to do it. Yeah. Okay. All my thoughts are running, running around inside my head. Emotions keep coming, they're keeping me from thinking straight. Thought it would be different when I got my things in place. Stuck in this commotion, how come I ain't past this yet? 
I wanna me that be somebody else Another me that doesn't need your help But if I'm honest, I don't think we got it I try to change the things you never like Try to make this better, make this right But we're the same, even though I change Okay guys, so this video is all over the place. I show you guys what I got at Target. I show you what I got at TJ Maxx and then Ross. So you'll have a few little hauls and they're just small. It's just a few things at each places. But then we're gonna throw back to the 90s and 80s. So like we're gonna go back and look at all the old retro things that we used to have growing up. The caboodle just got me to thinking about that. So that is so much fun. Oh, and don't worry, we did have a separate tray for this. So same lot, two different trays. I'm not using that after she had it in her mouth. But then I show you guys some pictures of my brother's house, all the updates he's done since you guys have seen it last. And then I include Lakely's little photo shoot. So we took mommy and baby photos. So I included those at the end too. And then there's a picture of Hunter when he was a baby and Lakely. And she looks just like her dad. But anyway, stick around. I show you two different suppers right here. I'm fixing baked spaghetti. So pretty, you know, self-explanatory. I'm not going to walk you through the process. You guys see what I put in it and you know how to make it, I'm sure. But then... Toward the end, I also show you what we had last night for supper, which was twice baked potatoes and garlic parmesan chicken. And I love this sign. So I'll read it to you guys in just a few minutes, but it is so pretty. I fell in love with it. I was like, there was a sign and I had it and I ended up putting it back and Heather was like, you should have got it. And I was like, nah. So then I called her back and I told her to pick it up. So she went and grabbed it for me. Doesn't really matter. Really made an effort, promise I would change. Some things stay the same. Just a little fun fact about me, I'm not crazy about cheese. Like I'll peel it off pizza. I don't want it on spaghetti. I'm just not crazy about cheese. I will eat it by itself. I'll eat a slice of cheese or a cheese stick or something, but I don't like cheese on a lot of things. But this was actually pretty good. I guess it was just all of the stuff I put in the meat which made it pretty good. I don't know, but it wasn't a ton of cheese either. So maybe that's what it was, but I don't make baked spaghetti a lot. It's just something that I don't do. I don't even know why I did it like this on this night, but we were fixing to go watch Kennedy play ball and I just wanted to throw it all together, melt some cheese on top and then go from there. But then I hung this picture here above our thermostat. It's really just the only place that I had to hang it. I was kind of wanting it in my bedroom, but I didn't really know of a spot. It's not big enough really to put above the bed. Although I am looking for something to go above my bed. So if y'all have any ideas, let me know. But I love what this picture says. Alden and I 
well, and Allison went to watch Kennedy play ball. They had a game. They played Tennessee Tech. Um, but after that, we went to Target. So I'll show you what I found there. So this is a Love Beauty and Planet. I don't know if y'all have ever used their shampoo or not, but we've used their shampoo and conditioner a lot because it smells so good. So they have a candle and it's pretty good size. Um, but it smells so good and it was on clearance. Okay, so it was $14.98 and I got it for $4.49 and it smells so good. The candle I got yesterday, I don't think it puts off a lot of throw and I like a candle that put, you can smell it. You know, why else do you want a candle? But anyway, I got the baby some things for Easter so you all see, I already got our Easter basket and uh, all that stuff. And a while back, you guys probably remember that because I think I showed you guys that. But um, I just wanted to get her a few practical things. So I ordered her some passies and I'll insert a picture here. She likes the little round ones with the little round nipple and that's what Lexi used to suck. So that's so cute. But I ordered her some of them. And then um, those are supposed to be here. It said Saturday when I ordered it, but then it says Sunday now. So I don't know. I hope it gets here before Sunday. But um, I also got her some Little Remedies saline drops because, because she has been stuffy. So I know those are good for that. Okay, I got it. And then I got her the two little blankets. You guys seen those. I washed those. Those are so soft. Love those. Um, I noticed her bottle brush was kind of janky, if that's a word. So... Um, Lexi was like, Dr. Brown bottle brushes suck. Like, it fell apart the first time I used it. So, anyway, I got her this. It is a bottle brush. So, I got her this little bottle brush at Target. And it is really soft. Like, really, really soft. So, I thought that would be good for bottles. And then, we got her this little outfit. Is that not adorable? And I got this in three to six months because, you know, it's going to be a while still before she can use it but it's got the little crisscross back so I thought that was cute so baby has a doctor's appointment I'm fixing to go to that with Lexi and um so I really don't have time to really get into anything clean or anything but anyway I was just going through some of my messages and you guys some of you guys were commenting on the caboodle and I was like that I, just, I love looking back on things I had growing up, even when I was small, like toys and stuff, you know, on up. I'll insert pictures as I go, but I just thought it'd be cool to kind of look back on some of the things like I had growing up to see if you guys had them. It's just really like 90s, 80s and 90s things. One of the things I had growing up was a little charm necklace and it was just plastic. The chain was plastic and it had little plastic clips like little charms that you clip on it and I had one of those I wish I still had that so bad but um what reminded me of that Lexi works at the bookstore so she's got a boutique next door and they have something similar to that and I was like that is so cool and um, of course it's not plastic and it's not cheap but the charms are so cute so I was asking Heather and she was like I never had one of those <laughs> so she had never even seen it or heard of it so another thing I had was like a little shirt clip where you put it through one end and like pull it through the other and it holds your shirt. I can remember wearing my shirts like that. I always had Cabbage Patch dolls. I loved the Cabbage Patch dolls that were like newborn that were bald and they had the little passy. Love those. I was huge on baby dolls growing up. So I had the Cricut doll that would sing. You put It was like a tape recorder. You put it in the back of her and her mouth would move to the song so I loved that I had a cricket doll um did you guys have kid sister or the brother I know my cousin had the little boy um it was kid sister and I don't remember what he was called but he had the boy I can't remember if I had the kid sister or not but though I can remember those or the teddy ruxpin is that how you say it where the bear would talk and read stories to you. Um, another thing I had was I had baby shivers and I had forgotten all about that doll until I seen it on here. I was looking through 80s and 90s stuff and I was like, oh my gosh, I had that. So if you take her clothes off, she would shiver. It was just really cool, but she was cute. She looked real. Also had the little thing you stand on and it has a ball in the middle and you would hold it with your feet and jump. 
or the little thing that you put on your ankle and you spin it and you jump over it as it spins around. Did you guys have one of those? I had one of those. It just kind of takes you back looking at all this stuff. Um, of course, Rainbow Bright. Um, did you guys have the cab? What were, what were they called? The Garbage Pail Kids. So my mom wouldn't let me have those. They were like little cards and they were like, it showed puke, stuff like that. My mom was like, um, no. <laughs> the little water toy games where you push the button and the balls or the little hoops or something would move. A lot bright. Did you guys have a lot bright? I bought my kids a lot bright actually. So those kind of made a comeback. Um, trolls made a comeback. We had an Atari. Did you guys have an Atari? We had Frogger on that. I can remember playing Frogger. Um, I can't remember what else there was, but then we got a Nintendo. So we had like Duck Hunt and Mario Brothers and things like that. So that was kind of cool. That was as I started to get a little older. I can remember having a shoe phone. Like it was a shoe, but it would sit on like your not stand or whatever. And it was a shoe phone. I also had a clear phone. Did you guys have a clear phone? I can remember those. Of course, the caboodle. Okay. So I showed you guys that. What about a trapper keeper? Did you guys have a trapper keeper? I can remember having a trapper keeper for school. And a fanny pack. Did you guys ever have a fanny pack? I think those kind of made a little bit of a comeback. Um, they Kennedy has one from Lululemon and it's like a crossbody, but it looks like a fanny pack. But that's what that reminded me of when I seen her with that. Of course, we had lots of Aquanet and we would like pull our bangs up spray it real good, take a hair dryer to it, and you'd have these huge bangs, like every part of your hair was sticking up. And mm, anyway, yeah, that was that was the day. Polly Pockets, did you guys have Polly Pockets? I did not have Polly Pockets. What about a doodle bear? I had a doodle bear where you could color and write on the bear, throw it in the washing machine, and then it was clean again. Had one of those. Also had like the babies that would skate or crawl. Did you guys have one of those? Or walk. I had those babies. I was baby crazy, which is why I had four kids, I guess. But I loved baby dolls. That was my thing when I was little, little. So, um, so I had those dolls. I'll insert pictures if I can find those. I'll also try to find some pictures of me when I was little and with some of these things. I'd say my mom's got some. So if I can find some of those, I'll put those up. I wasn't crazy about Barbies. Um, I didn't really get into Barbies too much that I can remember. Maybe my mom will say different, but yeah. Oh, and water babies. Did you guys have a water baby where you put the water in the doll and it feels weighted? Had water babies. They also had a baby that would swim. Did you guys have one of those? I don't think I had one of those. Okay, so I'll, I remember having shoes and they, I'll see if I can find a picture. I think they were like LA gear or something and they would like the side of them would twist. I'll um, insert a picture there. I also had chair shoes and they like you could insert the different colors on the sides. Had those Sebagos. Did y'all ever wear Sebagos and like twist the the shoestring and burn it and then um, tight roll your jeans. Let me know if you guys ever did that. Also, did you guys ever like pull your shirt up and tuck it through and like pull it down? So it's just, yeah, like I would do that, but my mom would have killed me if she had knew I did it. Also had those little um, rubber poppet things where you can flip it inside out and you put it down and it pops up. I can remember having those. I can remember having um, the Muppet babies, like all the little babies and the little um, like toys and stuff, right on toys, like little bitty stuff or the little bee bear and sting bears. I can remember having those. I've got to, I probably need to be leaving. Okay, I've got to go, I've got to run, but I will be thinking and I'll come back when I get back and we'll think about some more things like that. It's just really fun looking back on things like that. I wish I had all those things, especially the little charm necklace like to give to Lakely, but I would have probably gave it to my own kids and it would have been destroyed. It would have never made it this far. So it is what it is. But I'll be thinking and let me know in the comments what you guys remember having. Um, and some of you guys may be older and you can remember buying these things for your kids. Or some of you guys may be younger and you're thinking, oh my gosh, that's crazy. But like the caboodle, things like that, trapper keeper, all that stuff. That's so cool. Um, like I, I can remember having a crimper, like crimp, 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 crimp. <laughs> like really crimped hair. Um, but I'll be thinking and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back from the doctor with 
like seeing the baby. Baby is nine pounds, seven ounces now. She's perfect. So all that's good. And scrunchy socks. Who remembers wearing the socks that you scrunch down almost like leg warmer things? Um, and windbreakers, those nylon windbreaker outfits. A banana seat bike. I had a banana seat bike. Did you guys? Kennedy had one too. So they did kind of make a comeback. And then the banana clips that you put in your hair. Do you remember those? I did not wear those. They pulled my hair. I didn't like them. But anyway, just a little throwback. Um, and yeah, oh, and parachute. Who did parachute in gym? Did you ever do that? Oh, what were you Like with the parachute, it? Yeah, yeah, and you we hold did, it. We did that in like primary school. Yeah, and then you can put balls on it and bounce it and stuff. Yeah, we did that too. Yeah. Or we like would throw it up and then sit on it underneath and make like a little house. Yeah, it was neat, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, so we Heather and Allison met me at Ross. So I also got her this for her Easter basket. Because she needs an Easter basket. And this is a this is a 12 months. So she can wear that all summer. It'll be a while before she's into that. But I thought that was super cute. And it's a color you don't really see a lot of. Then we also got her this little jumper. And this one is, what size? What size is this? Probably like a 3T. This is six to nine months. So she can wear that, that looks for a while than too. This. You think so? Yeah. Okay, Allison got an Easter dress. I showed Kayla and she said, I oh, know you got that at Ross because I almost got the exact same one. Really? Yeah. So Allison got an Easter dress. And it is blue floral. Yep, focus in. There it goes. But that is really cute on her. I'll insert a picture. You sent it to me, didn't you? Yeah. Okay, I'll insert a picture of that. Heather got some wops for her kitty cats. Whoever. And then Allison got a razor. So that is it. So anyway, I guess we're going to get busy. I need to clean my car out. I did drop my car through the car wash. So that's clean because my tires were black. It's like the front tires, the front wheels get brake dust all over them. Oh, and mom really also bad. got gummy worms. Yeah, we got gummy worms too. And Zaxby's. I forgot about those. That was so good. And then we got Zaxby's. We got, we shared a chicken tender meal and fried pickles. And we still have more. Yeah, for Heather. Okay. Well, let's get busy. So she's got these two little blankets and I washed those. And then she's got these three little outfits. And then she's got some passies coming. I'll insert a picture of those here. Oh, oh, girl, you should wear a name tag. Any vicious presenting. Now 
if you guys are wondering how we're liking that air purifier, we're loving it. You see what all it pulls out of our air. And a lot of that is dust, but there is some pet hair, as you can see. And you're supposed to wash these. I just vacuumed it off because I didn't have time to wash it on this day. Although I do need to do that, but this at least got the most of it off. But I'm just going to read you guys what this picture says instead of my devotional today. I've got, like I said, my brother's house updates at the end and then like Lee's photo shoot. There's just not a whole lot of time to read it. So this picture says hope. For what it's worth, it's never too late or in my case too early to be whoever you want to be. There's no time limit. Start whenever you want. You can change or stay the same. There's no rules to this thing. We can make the best or the worst of it. I hope you see things that startle you. I hope you meet people who have a different point of view. I hope you live a life you're proud of. And if you're not, I hope you have the courage to start over again. I don't know why, but when I seen that, it just touched me. You guys know that we've been through a whole lot of change over the past few years and change isn't easy but sometimes it's the best thing you could ever do just stepping out on faith just doing what your gut tells you is right or just having the courage to do something that you've wanted to do for years you know whether it's skydiving or going back to school doing what you want to do it's never too late ever but it takes courage and it's not easy and there is some pain that comes along with it the other day I read that when you ask God to help you grow, be ready for rain. And that is so true because it's not going to be easy. This journey wasn't promised that it would be easy, but he did promise that he wouldn't leave us. He would go with us. He wouldn't forsake us. And I'm so thankful for that. No stop signs Counting down till we take flight It's how you make me feel Yeah, yeah Let's call in sick and be lazy I'm all for doing what's crazy Cause you make it real, yeah You found a different side of me The one I'd like to be A different side of me, yeah If it looks like we were feeding an army, we were. We had some people coming over, so we cooked extra, so everyone would have plenty. But when I go to make deviled eggs, or just like this, filling these potatoes back in, I never judge it right, and I always run out. So then I end up having to rob Peter to pay Paul. So you'll see that I have to borrow from the other potatoes to fill all of these in. But these are really good, they're easy. My kids love these and Heather does too. Potatoes is one thing that I could live without. If I could pick one food that I never could eat again, it would probably be potatoes. Like I could eat broccoli or anything else, just not crazy about potatoes. Yeah. Yeah. Look at Heather in there doing laundry. And it's rough trash cans up. Every night I'm going on the grid, texting back. I want you. Hit you up, I'm on the other side I miss you, miss you Take you off, I came your way to strong Cannot keep it low-key 
Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof I don't your taste It's really a bad reception out there Where are you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? I first you Off my radar now I've lost you Telling you that I need you But you're off my radar now Found myself in between the lines Underneath your bed sheets It started fun But now I'm into deep into this flow A zero sum game that I will lose There's no sipping past it Every time you walk away from me, I want you How could I want you more? Oh, when did I lose my perspective? Oh God, have I lost it? But my cravings for you so shameless Can't get enough I've lost you So you know I was at my brother's helping him work on his kitchen cabinets and he had this divider wall. So his TV was actually inside of the wall. So he tore that whole thing down. He only left the studs. He shiplapped the front, got a fireplace insert and stone around that and then hung his TV above it. On the back side of that wall, he did have a faux brick, like a paneling sheet. He put that up, he took it back down and then he ended up putting shiplap up. So he has these chairs that goes with his dining room table and they're cloth. So Shonda re-upholstered those and sent me that. And then she bought some pretty table decor, made his table all cute and fancy. Then they've been doing some work to the outside. So I see that they've got ferns and they've redid their flower beds. So that looks really cute. They got some new cushions for their chairs a rug and just put a few little pieces of decor out there and then the whole family Sean Billy and the kids worked on this little pond and built like a little waterfall so that looks really good they've done so much and they've done a great job it's looking so much better so I was going to include a few pictures of Lexi and Lakely's photo shoot so here is that and then at the end is a picture of Lakely and her daddy when he was a baby let me know if you guys think they look alike but thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Jesus loves you. Always remember that. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Wandering and fading, I know There is something more than this I think I am ready For doing some changing, oh God There is something It's hard.